We need an oil change. Emma went ahead and called around. It's at least 70 bucks, plus whatever extra fees. I refuse to pay that. I'm gonna pay 70 bucks for an oil change. And Costco has full synthetic 5 weight 30 that we're gonna need, 35 bucks. And then Walmart had a filter for 10 bucks. We're at 45 bucks. We grabbed a couple extra pieces that we'll need in the future anyways. Why would we pay somebody else to do that? It's a nice quiet spot. It is on a little bit of gravel, but we do have a cover for the ground. Let's get started. For the uninformed, we have a 2022 Integra Esteem 29V, a Ford E450 chassis with the 2022 7.3 liter Godzilla V8 engine. And the first thing we're gonna do is lift it. We've got our oil. We got a mat to lay on so I don't get so dirty. Got an oil drain pan, funnel, oil filter. This is a Fram PH2 and an oil filter wrench. We'll just need a socket to loosen the drain bolt, but that should be about it. So welcome back to the underneath. Here's the right wheel and we've got a bolt. I'm gonna use a 15 millimeter on this and then right over here is our oil filter. I need to get some gloves. And there's our gloves. Nice. Oil filter. I should also mention the engine is decently warm. We drove it about an hour ago, so this should be no problem. There we go. Towards the back. Expect oil at any point. Ooh, there she goes. <laughs> oh yeah. Gonna need a shower after this. It's good to see that that oil is, I mean it's dark, but it's still kind of a, kind of a milk chocolatey color. <laughs> it's like a dark caramel. Not too bad. I am going to fill this canister with some oil because whether it's just an urban legend or not, we're gonna have some oil in there and get it started. Let's just hope I don't spill it on the way back up. All right, new guy up there. And we got a little bit of oil on the seal there. There we go. Ooh. Now let's go ahead and work that on a bolt. This guy, 15 millimeter. Up pretty clean, and okay now. That is not transmission fluid, and that's nice. <laughs> there she goes. This engine takes just over eight quarts, and we have 10, 35 bucks, full synthetic, not too bad, five weight 30. And this little container, I think we got for about 10 bucks or so, it will hold up to 10 quarts. So I think we're in pretty good shape. We're getting to the bottom of that. Get that guy out of there. Ford's oil change interval on their website, 10,000 miles. We're about 8,500 or so, somewhere in there. Not too bad. All right, and I'll get something to clean this up and then I'll address a little bit of spillage that we have. All right, she's getting to the end there. Get that bolt back in there. Otherwise, you're gonna have a bad day. 15 millimeter wrench. I'm sure this is not the correct size. There's one that's a little bit more snug, but this is close enough. Good and tight, all right. All right, and this guy's good. That drain bolt's good. Let's go refill her. And I will be amazed if I don't spill this. I would advise not turning your engine on with no oil in it, or you will have a nice long visit to the Ford dealership. Although, you could do that if you want it out for an electric, or maybe a nice Cummins engine in here. I doubt it would fit, but. That is goals, chugging right along. Now we did have the 6.7 liter inline six Cummins diesel engine before this. That thing was a powerhouse. And while towing our Airstream 25 foot, which weighed 7,300 pounds or so, somewhere around there, because we always carried it with full water and enough of our crap to live in it comfortably, we still got 22 miles per gallon towing. And that was down in Nashville, really hot and humid, though lower in elevation. That's a nice big engine. We considered running that on biodiesel, which I think would have been cool. A little bit of this. We got about just under two liters left here. Let's check the dipstick. We considered running that on biodiesel, which would have been awesome. I've heard they're a little less efficient, but the downside is, is you have to filter all of that and filter all of that and filter all of that. So we never got around to it. Now, the other downside is that we had to worry about DEF, which I know a lot of people just don't care about. They're like, oh, it's a non-issue. It does make your diesel not smog and such. And honestly, it was a very quiet engine. 
and a very powerful engine, but if you ran out of that stuff, because, and luckily we never did, but if you run out of that stuff, you're in limp mode, you're in five mile an hour mode until you get more. The cost of that is going up, which is kind of nuts. When we bought our Thomas school bus, though, so it was nice and smelly, but it didn't require DEF. Oh yeah, it looks pretty full there. So let's run that engine and let that oil work through and then check the oil again. You wanna talk about a long dipstick. Look, look at that thing. If you don't bend it correctly, it's not going down in there. It didn't blow up. That's a good sign. All right, we'll check this now. We hovered around 2,000 RPM just to get the oil moving. It's a big engine, it's probably very hungry. Look at that. It's like I work at Jiffy Lube. I worked at Grease Monkey. Honestly, I didn't really do anything. I just cleaned up after those guys. They're still a bunch of jerks. I would say we're about in the halfway mark. I could probably add a little bit more. I will go ahead and do that. So now we've got to disable that message. So I'm gonna press okay to get rid of it. Go back. Go down to a driver assist, maintenance monitor, enter, and then I'm gonna hold okay to reset that. Back to 100%. All right, that's all there is to it. I refuse to pay double that for what is basically 20 minutes of time. And while you're under there, check for rust, check for loose bolts. If you've been hearing a noise, get under there and check it out. You can find other items for preventative maintenance. You might check your air filters, your transmission fluid, your tire pressures check your lights, whatever needs to be maintained, go ahead and maintain it. We finished just in time because it's, <laughs> it's starting to rain now. It's time for me to go shower. I couldn't shower until after I did her oil change. So see you later guys.